Welcome back, this is Don and we're going to show you how to add some products to your new data feed store. First thing you do is log into your uh, admin panel and that will take you to the home page screen for the admin. Uh, you can upload either through the, the home page here or the uploads tab towards the top. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look. We're going to look at uploading some Commission Junction data feeds. Let's try it with a browser first. Uh, with this tool all you need to do is grab the file from your uh, hard drive and click on it, push submit, and those products are all now in your in your store. Pretty, pretty amazing actually. Uh, any data feed from Commission Junction works this way, whether it's five products or 5,000 products or 50,000 products. Uh, it creates a page for you, creates a cloaked affiliate link, by cloaked meaning uh, it doesn't uh, interfere with your search engine rankings. Pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and try uploading one through FTP now. Now the, the browser upload is great for less than 10,000 items in a file. Uh, if you've got more than 10,000 items, you're going to need to use the FTP tool because the browser will time out on you. So let's just go ahead and add another uh, another product here through the FTP. Uh, once they're up in your, your FTP folder, uh, they automatically show up here so you can process them just like we showed you. And let's do another search here. And there you go is from a vitamin store. Again they make the pages, again they make the suggested items, and again they put in the link. So you can literally take uh, hundreds of Commission Junction merchants uh, and load them into your stores. Just that easy. You don't have to do any editing or, or anything of that sort. Uh, it's not just Commission Junction. You can do these on uh, on any number of different uh, different affiliate programs. Uh, right now we're going to go ahead and take that product and make it a feature product on your home page. So let's do that. Back to the green tea. We're going to make that a featured product too. Add that as the second of ten featured products that we're going to put in. This way you have control over what shows up on your home page. Watch this now. So we have one product from the first file and we chose another product from the second file there. And again, you can have 10 of them on your home page. So let's go ahead and upload one from ShareASale, which is another affiliate network program with literally thousands of merchants. Let's grab one of the one of the uh, data feed files we downloaded from there and simply upload it. And it's in your store. And this one was an earthquake kit. Uh, this one is a, uh, a disaster preparedness firm that has about 800 items or so. And we have the uh, earthquake kit here that we just put in. That's pretty cool. And again, the same as the other ones, you click the button, you're taken directly to that store. When the consumer makes the purchase, uh, you get a nice commission from it. And we're going to make this a featured item too. go back to the home page and you'll see once again we have three different stores from two different networks with different uh, featured products and obviously if you have a blog or a website you want to uh, of course promote those featured products so let's do something from Google affiliate network we're going to upload one of those two just to show you that they uh, you know they all function the same pretty amazing all of these are different languages different setups yet you use one tool to load them all into one database and one store. So we just uploaded a glasses shop here. Let's take a look at one of the products here. Once again a complete product page with some recommendations on the bottom. And we're going to make one of these a featured product. And go back to the store you now have four merchants, probably eight or nine thousand products total, and four products on your featured page. Just absolutely amazing. And that's all there is to it. Make sure you clean your data when you're done and log out.